you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. And this is Sahih. This is what makes it horrible. Islam began a small religion and will return to the state which began. So which one is true? You or the Prophet? I'm really confused now. Come on, Muslims, don't do that. You see, all of this is Sahih. And even your Prophet, he described Islam as a snake. Look, 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 look. Islam is a snake is going to crawl back to its hole Are you with me? Now What you said is a proving Muhammad to be false if it's true the golden age Be my witness The Muslim they prove again Muhammad to be false because Muhammad predicted that the snake, which is Allah, which is Islam, and this the serpent in the Bible always present, like the story of Adam and Eve, present Satan, present evil. The serpent will be your enemy. That's Allah. It's Islam. And Muhammad, he gave perfect description for Islam. It is a snake. Muhammad Khatoum, why you don't call me my friend? And tell me what, okay, I wanna be a Muslim now. After I saw what you just said, I feel like being a Muslim, what do you think? Only true Muslims will say, stay as Muslims. There are several Islamic sects like Shia, and they will never enter heaven. Hmm. Here we go. You just say that everybody want to convert to Islam, but what Islam? Shiaism, the Sunni, maybe there's many sects. Even Sunni, many of them, they will go to hell. According to your prophet, I'm using your prophet words, my nation will be 73 sect. Which one will go to heaven? The minority. So if the Sunni are the majority, that means the Sunni will not go to heaven. Correct, guys? Didn't he say that Islam will go small? That means the one who will go to heaven is the minority, not the majority. And Islam divided more than Christians and Jews, according to Muhammad. The Muslim, they will say to you, Oh, there is many Christians, many Jews. Which one is the true one? Look, the Quran, Muhammad says Muslims are the most divided. 73 sect, only the small one will go to heaven. Which one is the small one? Maybe the Druze? Poor Mr. Muhammad Khatoum. Whatever he say, he got busted. I'm sound tired. I have my, I'm drinking coffee here to, to stay awake. You guys are making me sleepy. Let me close my eyes and imagine some versions in front of me that will make me awake. Mm, now I see Oof, this version is so good, man. It says here made in Greece, virgin oil. Oof, I love virgin oil. I know you have dirty minded. You thought I'm thinking about the women. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, <clears throat> Pakistan or Shia? Ah. Guys, Pakistan or Shia? That's new. They are not true Muslims. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we send Pakistan to hell. Okay, what is the second country? What about Indonesia? Pakistan is what, uh, 100 million something? 100 million now? I don't know what, how, how many they are. 
those people are Shia, brother. Drop them. Okay, Iran, uh, Shia, drop them. Iraq, uh, Shia, drop them. Okay, uh, Indonesia. <laughs> Uh, too much hashish. Uh, <coughs> Virgin Airline. <coughs> you know why? Why? Uh, why people don't want to convert to Islam if Islam is so good? I mean, what's wrong? He will go to God. He promised you virgins. He will be rich than any king in this world, 10 times, 50 times, 60 times. A lot of women laying down for you. They will jump on you. There's a video on YouTube. He described for you how when you enter the bedroom in the heaven, how the virgin, they will be fighting over, literally sucking you. I'm not going to go more in details. Those who speak Arabic, they can watch it. And you can imagine the smell in the in the in the mosque at that moment when this guy is talking about the virgins, describing their boobs and their vagina. <clears throat> How Islam reached Indonesia? Very simple, as I know from history books. I don't know. I'm not historian. That uh, one of the sultans of Indonesia, he was under a threat, so they told him, "If you join Islam, you know." They will not dare to attack you because the Muslims already they are in the borders. So join Islam. So Sultan he convert the rest they convert. The same when Jankiz Khan when he took his army all the way to Iraq they destroyed the Caliphate. Those are not Muslims. They told them the rulers you know look, Shay Shahada, those people will never oppose you. They will obey you blindly. Now you are an infidel for them. Say Shahada. And they don't care. Say Shahada. So now the Turkish, they are using Islam as a way to conquer. You go to Turkey right now, night club, belly dancing, alcohol, prostitution, etc. But Erdogan claimed to be the true Muslim. But he never dared to close one night club. They expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this God. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but it doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.